What's up everybody, Tricks Ridiculous back with another video and I've got an updated build guide on my Thor build. This is absolutely perfected. I've got pretty much everything in place for him exactly the way that I'd like it. Uh, so not really gonna be a build guide in the traditional sense as uh, you know, I've done a number of build guides on Thor and they're all pretty much the same, but just more of a build update showing you exactly what's changed with the build and why it is so perfect. Before we get into it, be sure to like the video if you are a Thor main, and uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new as well. Uh, those are great ways to support the channel, and I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, everybody, so here is the overview of my Thor build. Now, the first thing that's gonna jump right out at you is you're gonna say, Trix, 552 Valor, that's way too low. 20,000 Heroic rating, I've seen way higher. Trust me, I'm gonna get into all of it. This build is absolutely, in my opinion, the best way to play Thor. We already know that Thor is one of the best, if not the best characters in the game. And in my opinion, this is the absolute perfect top of the iceberg way to play him. Um, I don't think there's any other way you can build him, uh, melee or ranged or anything in between, uh, that is going to be better than what I'm gonna show you right here. So, you know, this is just my opinion, of course, but if you trust my opinion on builds, this is what you're gonna to wanna to aim for for your Thor, all right? Now, I'll get right into it. Now, you'll see, obviously, it is a ranged Thor build. It's still gonna do the whole ranged power attacks thing, right? That hasn't changed, but why is this build so different? Well, so you'll see there, I've only got about 552 Valor and 416% Precision, along with a little bit of life. Um, we still wanna prioritize Precision, Valor, Resilience, okay, uh, and a little bit of Resolve. Those are still gonna be our primary stats, Valor still being the number one. All right, now the big kind of thing that pulls all of this together, so a lot of these, I'll just go piece by piece here, a lot of these, um, you know, are what I've, of course, gotten from the raid. Some of these pieces are very, very difficult to get um, and will take a lot, a lot of grinding. So, you know, if you're not if you're not trying to min-max completely, you don't have to go with this exact, exact thing to the T, but I'll just highlight what to look out for um, if you do happen to get it. Um, and then if you get something with some sort of variation of it, maybe it's not exactly the same, um, but it's still in the ballpark, you could still use it and have a successful build. So on the melee piece, this is the, the, the most, uh, you know, I'll say boring piece, I guess, really nothing here uh, that helps us. Just a really good stat stick. Signature Vibranium is somewhat helpful. Um, and then the receiving magnifier, we're, we're not going to be sending any sonic conduit, but if we happen to have someone on the team that's rece that's doing a, you know, ascending and we're the receiver of that, you know, all the more happiness there, right? We'll get a little more status effect, uh, damage. It's helpful, uh, but certainly not something we're, we're building around. This is really just a stat stick. So you'll see precision, valor, resilience. Make sure you get triple stats on all of your pieces, okay? Um, very, very important. You will be missing out on major stat increases if you only get two stats. Uh, if you get a piece that has two stats, they can all, uh, those two stats can roll as high as like 105, 106 each, um, which is a little bit higher. But if you get three stats, they can all roll in, you know, up to the uh, mid 90s, right, as you can see here. Uh, so you, you'd be foolish to go with a two stat piece that can go into the, the low 100s when you can just get three stats that can all go into the 90s. Uh, the total stat is way higher there. So make sure you're always getting three stats. Um, other than that, really nothing too crazy to look for. Just try to look for Precision Valor Resolve here. Uh, coming over to the ranged piece. Now, this is my unicorn piece. You can get this from the uh, Red Room event. Uh, if you know how to farm the Red Rooms uh, to get those guaranteed God rolls, I have a video on that. Otherwise, you could try to get this from the Monica mission. It is extremely rare. Obviously, you want targeted buff, targeted tachyon surge. That is the mandatory for Thor. Don't try to go for proficient buff. Don't try to go for any other proficient anything or adapt anything. It has to be targeted. Now, you know, if you're a Thor main or you've, you've played a lot of Thor, you know why this is good. But the reason it's so good for anyone who's a little newer is the way we're going to be playing this Thor under the ranged attack here, this critical throw, basically all of our power attacks, as long as you time your power attack properly, it's going to be a guaranteed critical attack. And then all of the lightning that you call down, 
which comes from, I don't know exactly where on the tree it comes from, uh, but you can call down lightning uh, after you throw your hammer, and as long as you timed it correctly, uh, you're actually going to, here it is, those lightning bolts are going to be crits as well, and they're going to, you know, count as ranged attacks. So basically, you're going to have, you throw your hammer into a crowd of enemy, you call down the lightning, that's going to be like 20 or 30 individual crit hits that all have the chance of procking your targeted buff targeted tachyon surge right so we know this is going to trigger all the time and uh you know if you've seen my thor uh gameplay you'll see i always have targeted buff up i always have tachyon surge up all right it's just always up and then you do want range power attacks deal cosmic you don't really want the pinned enemies one that'll lower your damage output a little bit just because um pinning enemies is not as reliable as doing power attacks and we're going to always be doing power attacks um and then of course precision valor intensity this is the best possible role you can get with this if it happens to just roll precision valor that's fine too uh intensity is kind of a an extra thing we're not really playing for intensity here we don't really have anything that's applying uh status effects in a way that intensity is going to matter for um but you know resolve or resilience cannot roll on this so best case you're getting precision valor if you just get the two that's totally fine intensity is just a little extra all right, coming over to the chess piece. So this one, um, a little bit here, the precision, again, precision, valor, resilience. Um, unfortunately, the raid gear does give mostly resilience pieces, which you do want more resolve than resilience. Um, but, you know, if you can just, if you get the resilience too, it's still the best in slot for the piece that you can get to roll. Uh, so you might as well just have it. Um, and then looking at the stats here now, I'm using Reverberation Drive. This is the best in slot for the chess piece for Thor. Inflict 25 additional damage to enemies afflicted with an active Vibranium status effect. You'll see why that is so powerful in just a second. But basically, as it sounds, when someone's afflicted with Vibranium, they take an extra 25% damage, right? Pretty straightforward if we're getting Vibranium out. All right, what you can use, you know, that, that 25 is nice. You don't have to have it. Um, another really, 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 really good perk across all characters is the Sonic uh, Scream. I forget the exact name, but the one that says like 50% chance or 40-something percent chance to completely ignore a Sonic attack. That is very good. That counts for a lot of attacks in the raid. It's basically a 50% chance to just not take damage from all of Claw's attacks, uh, as well as a number of attacks from any of the, uh, you know, Sonic guys, of the spiders, of pretty much anything. Um, really good defensive piece, but we're going offense here. Uh, so 25% additional uh, damage, and then Valor Precision Resilience again, beautiful there. Uh, coming over to the four slot. Now, this one you can be a little flexible with. I'm using the Cincher of Asgard Sign. You can't get this exact role anymore. This was a legacy piece uh, that they have changed the Jarvis barrier to. Now it's something useless. Um, but what I'm using, Lethal Jarvis Barrier, obviously chance killing enemies can give you that Jarvis Barrier. We all know how good Jarvis Barrier is. Um, got great stats, Precision, Valor, Resolve, no question there. Um, and then increase the charge rate of ultimate. That's always good. And then motive, maximum Odin Force energy. You'd be surprised because we're throwing our hammer and then spamming the lightning. You'd be surprised 10% extra Odin Force can actually be pretty good there. Uh, what you can use in place of this. So there's a couple of options. I wouldn't use anything from the raid. I think everything from the raid in this slot is pretty ass. Um, you can get cute with a wreath of Yggdrasil. Uh, you can get this from Villain Sectors. It does only roll at Epic, but we do know that they're making some changes to Villain Sectors and possibly we'll get some exotic versions of this gear uh, coming up in the uh, upcoming March update. But this piece here, it can roll Precision Valor Resolve. I'm still trying to get a perfect one of it, but you see it's got the Odin Force Endowment. So you know, if you've seen my previous videos, that increased heroic charge rate, you know how money that is, right? Uh, getting that increased charge rate and you know Thor's heroics are some of the best in the game um, and then it's you know while Odin force is active is a really easy one you just have to hold R2 so basically just hold R2 before you pick up any heroic orb or before you st or while you're standing in any sonic status effect um, and your heroics are just going to fly back up uh, to charged now you'll see obviously this significantly 
uh, hampers my stats, which it will uh, because it is only an epic, and this one happens to not even have precision valor resolve, although it can drop with it. Um, but this is an option that you can use uh, if you get a good third perk with it. It's something like defeat three enemies, uh, get a heroic charge burst. That's incredible with this, obvious, you know, for obvious reasons. Um, but otherwise, another option is the. Uh, the piece that you can get from the last Avengers standing. That is a bit of a grind, although you can also get it from the red room, uh, completing the, the full chain. Uh, that piece, unf the only awkward thing about that is it has the 20% uh, lightning potentiator. Unfortunately, that piece, the, the potentiators don't actually work right now. Um, so it's not going to really do anything for you right now, but you can still get it as an exotic precision valor resolve, huge stat boosts. Um, and then when that 20% shock damage, uh, you know, potentiator comes back on it, uh, it'll be a lot better for you. And that the 20% shock does work pretty well. It works for all of your lightning call downs, as well as your God blast. So that's going to be a big damage boost there. All right. So coming over to the artifacts, this is really the coup de gras of what you've been waiting for, for the build, right? Here it is. The the Nornstone of the Bulwark, this is really what makes this Thor build so much better than any other way to play Thor. Now you'll see the first stat, the first perk on it, Pinpoint Vibranium Payload. Now, I would recommend this artifact on a lot of characters. Any character you're planning on playing ranged, I strongly recommend this artifact. It's absolutely insane, but on Thor, it's better than anybody. Now you'll see here, 36% chance that a ranged critical attack will activate a Vibranium payload on the enemy target. Well, hold on a second. We already know that we're getting a ton of stuff from our ranged critical attacks. And like I said earlier in the video, all of our attacks are crits, every single one. And they hit in a wide area with that lightning, right? So you're going to be critting with your range crits all the time and in this particular build i've got three different things that will proc from it damage buff targeted tachyon surge and pinpoint vibranium payload that's going to apply vibranium instantly to any enemy that gets hit with it immediately putting them to the full vibranium status effect from there the lightning call downs that you're going to do are going to battery effect off of the vibranium in addition, the only other major change I've made with this build, I'm still using the Son of the Elder Gods, uh, you know, for the Whirlwind uh, on the God Blast. That's going to apply Cryo and Shock, of course, from the God Blast, which will, of course course pair with the vibranium and then the only other thing i'm using is i changed over to jotunheim's tempest i used to be using the muspelheim's torment uh, but now i'm using the cryo this is going to give your god blast a cryo status effect once you've vibraniumed up a boss your status effect um is your your bifrost is now going to be a cryo status effect it's going to be guaranteed uh battery damage on the boss all right so basically i mean i could get these kills literally i've got maestro and all of the bosses down to a single hammer throw and a single god blast you could throw the hammer tar get your get all three of your buffs right call down a few lightnings get target buff tachyon surge uh and uh, vibranium payload on the boss and then immediately call down your bifrost with all of your buffs active and absolutely blow them away this is absolutely insane and it's not just for bosses right like i said when you're activating pinpoint vibranium you're sending vibranium payloads all over the place and then you're calling down lightning so you're you're getting a damage buff a tachyon surge buff and a battery effect all in your everyday throws you don't even have to activate a single heroic every single throw you do with your hammer is going to absolutely decimate every single thing it's absolutely impossible for it not to now the only thing i'm really missing like i said uh this piece i've been grinding for it the roll on it is not fantastic although it's not horrible it's got precision resilience which are both fine for this build proficiency is useless in our case I would have much rather had this with a Valor Precision uh, or some type of Valor, you know, imbued in it. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm still, I could possibly get another one at some point down the line. But right now, this is perfect. Other than that, we're just using, of course, uh, a yellow ISO 8 with a perfect Valor roll. I do also have another... Uh, yellow ISO 8 with an almost perfect Valor roll, but with a support heroic ability. You know, you can do something like this, and you've probably seen Thor's look like this, right? 
that just have so much valor, right? 736 valor, 350 precision, 25,000 heroic rating. Now you might've seen higher heroic ratings, but keep in mind, heroic rating is increased from your proficiency and your valor and proficiency is actually useless. So really high heroic ratings um, can be a little deceptive. It's really about the total valor that you have, right? So that's really the stat to look at. Now you can do this, you know, but like I said, the difference between just a pure valor Thor like this and then a Thor that takes a little bit of a hit in the Valor, but has that Vibranium all over the place and battery effect all over the place by himself with no help from anybody else. Forget about it, guys. This is, it's absolutely, absolutely insane. So that's really it. That, like I said, man, this is the absolute best build I've ever played across any character. We already know, let's be honest, Thor's the best character in the game. I'm not gonna dance around that fact, right? And in my opinion, this is the absolute best way to play Thor. I don't think other than getting like the more tiniest of min maxi uh, stat rolls on some of these pieces, there is really nothing else I can think of um, as far as how to make this build better. I believe that this Thor build that I'm showing you right here is the absolute best way to play the absolute best character in the game. Therefore, I'm calling this the absolute best build in Marvel's Avengers period. I don't mean to be a little cocky on that um, because again, anyone can make this build, uh, but I, I don't see any other way to make this build any better or to make Thor any better than this exact play style. Uh, but anyway, like I said, um, if, you, if you trust my opinion on that, this is kind of what you want to grind for. That's really all I've got for you in this video. I don't have really like an extended, you know, build setup for it. Everything else is pretty much the same as my previous Thor build, other than the change to the uh, Cryo Bifrost to go with that Vibranium. Uh, Mastery Tree is exactly the same, take a screenshot of this. And then the Champion Tree, I've got a lot of points here, but really, I mean, what you wanna focus on, of course, is um, Crit Damage Boost. In Thor's case, you can actually skip Crit Chance. Um, and then Heroic Charge Rate, Perk Chance, and then uh, Flat fortification boost other than that i mean that's it it's this there's no stop in this build it's absolutely unbelievable it's far and away the best build i've ever played it's what i will use for any type of raid carries uh when i'm going in with a group whether it be you know the elite heroic or not this can totally solo everything without even a question um and then you know this is really going to be what i bring into whatever the next content is uh you know if and when that does happen but if there's going to be a raid we're gonna do a world's first race this is hundred percent the character I'm bringing in and I don't think there's a better character to bring in anyway that's it for me guys I hope you liked this I hope you learned something uh, if you did be sure to leave a like on the video leave me a comment down below let me know what you think or how you're playing Thor or do you have something like this with a vibranium setup on a different character like I said I think this can be really good on other characters as well let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and consider joining the Discord, uh, which is down, link in the description for LFG news, gear uh, reviews, guides, build help, all that stuff, all down in the Discord. That's it for me, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.